What the fuck am I looking at? What is going on here? I can't make sense of the image. There's no... Is she going to be okay? I... I'm lost. Is it like sticking out from the... I don't understand how this is possible. I don't see a wire up top. If you showed me this picture, and now I'm starting to understand why people thought they were witches, man. If you showed me this picture in like not even the 1800s, but like 1923, I might be like, hey, we should talk about this. Do you guys like eggnog? I don't think I actually had any this season. I gotta say, I don't really think it's for me, especially the boozy stuff. It's just kind of mid. The part that grosses me out is the egg, bro. Why are we putting eggs in there? And Mason knows, it's, is it for the consistency or something? It's like a whiskey sour? Hmm. I'm just like, why do we have to sully it? I love eggnog. I don't usually put alcohol in it. Mm. See, maybe if I go without alcohol. See, I think I just like... It's a, I'm too in my head. If you gave me a cup... And you said, hey, brother, check out this sick drink I made. It's a dairy-based kind of hot chocolate sweet drink. I'd be like, you know what? That sounds pretty nice. Thank you, friend. Hmm? What the? But if you're like, hey, dude, check out this, this hot drink. By the way, I put some egg in there just for the texture. I, I, I can't do it. Like, I just, I can't, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it in my mouth, even if you didn't put egg in there. Agreed, the egg is so gross. Yes! Feeling seen. Yeah, cocktails do have egg in them sometimes. Like a uh, a whiskey sour. Which I think is just like whiskey plus sour plus egg. And I gotta tell you, I could do without the foam. But then I guess... They would feel weird about charging me $17 for it. And making me tip uh, 20%. You know what else I'm gonna say since I'm giving my hot takes on holiday treats? What the fuck are we still doing with candy cane, bro? We discovered mint like thousands of years ago. Wait, this is such a sick angle, holy. We're still out here making candy canes? We're putting drones into space onto the side of moving asteroids to do science experiments. And you're telling me somehow we're still rocking with candy canes as the the trademark holiday treat? I mean, we got to challenge the status quo, people. It's time for us to get on our respective soapboxes in our communities and stand up and say, hey, we can do better than this for ourselves. I'm electing for cinnamon buns. How much better would the world be if cinnamon buns were like replacing like that was like the main treat of the season? Or just like goldfish crackers. Literally anything but candy cane. Well. <laughs> you see the radius on that bad boy? How? That's crazy. The serpent bite is so OP. Whenever I think serpent bite or snake, I think of that terrible joke where there's two hunters in the woods and the one hunter calls into 911 is like, Hey, my friend got bit by like a really venomous snake. What should I do? Like, I'm pretty sure he's dead. He's just laying on the ground, not moving. Should I try and suck the venom out? Caller's like, Hey man, calm down. Let's make sure he's dead first. Okay. Then he hears a shot and the guy's like, okay, what's next? <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know, that joke just always stuck with me, even though it's not particularly good. I think it was like a voted funniest joke somewhere. Probably Wisconsin, because they don't have much else to do. They didn't, they didn't get Seinfeld until like 2005. You know what's crazy is these are all like physics objects. Like, you can just shoot bowl by bowl. All day long. Speaking of bowl by bowl all day long, how's the melee scene doing? That onion article or hard drive one where it's like gamer says he plays better high has no basis for comparison. A lot of melee players getting tagged in that one.
I watched the movie Now You See Me for the first time in a hotel with my dad. And I remember he was pretty uh, based on calling out that movie being like fucking insane. <laughs> he was like, what? How is this happening? <laughs> and then they like gas an entire theater full of people to make them fall asleep. They like give them laughing gas. Or when they're doing like literal, literal wizard magic. <laughs> that movie doing well is like an indictment of society. I'm still pissed they didn't call the sequel Now You Don't. Fuck. Absolute throw. I've been watching a lot of movies recently. If you're looking for a good one, you like horror movies, watch Talk To Me on Netflix. It's actually fantastic, dude. It's an Australian movie filled with like almost exclusively Australian actors, which you really don't see that often. It's also another underground classic you may never have heard of. Uh, Jordan Peele's Nope. <laughs> I'm not going to talk specifically about what happens in these movies, and I think we'll just move on after, but I do, me and my friend, like, he was here last night, and we always have a habit, it's not even a habit, it's completely by accident, I end up picking a movie that's, like, actually just, like, too fucked up and weird for what I intend. If I pick a horror movie, I'm looking for, like, Cabin in the Woods. Instead, I watched a movie called Sleepers with Kevin Bacon, where he plays a character called Sergeant Noakes. I watched last night, he was here again, and I watched The Butterfly Effect with Ashton Kusher. Those movies are fucked up, man. I did not think Butterfly Effect was going to be that messed up, but it is. Most messed up part about it is it got Ashton Kusher in the leading role. Ayo! No, but seriously, that movie is like, whoa. Got a lot of points. I was just like, oh my fucking god, I cannot believe they went there. How many butterflies are in the butterfly effect? Zero! At least tangible ones. Could have at least thrown like a monarch on, on camera. Just to be technically correct, but no. Oh, Cinderella Man? That was just a guy. He didn't even have like an evil stepmother or anything. He was just like a boxer. Million dollar baby? Yeah, there wasn't even a baby involved. <laughs> Dude, uh, I watched the first three Lethal Weapon movies. And at no point does Danny Glover turn to Mel Gibson and say, Wow, Mel, you're really a Lethal Weapon. Not once. They should have called it I'm too old for this shit.